All right, now that we've got the flywheel in place and it's torqued down to the proper setting, we're gonna we're gonna uh, set the air gap between the ignition and the flywheel. And what I want to do first is to uh, what I like to do is take a a uh, index card here, fold it in half, and I want to slide that between the flywheel and the ignition. And then I'm gonna loosen these screws up. So that, that's free, and holding the paper in place, slowly spin the flywheel around, and as a magnet on the flywheel comes around, and it draws the ignition tight against the flywheel, you want to stop right there, and then we want to tighten up the ignition right there. Alright, with that tight, um, what we're going to do then is to turn the flywheel, slide the paper out, and now the proper gap is set between the flywheel and the ignition. So, there we have it. Onward. All right, one last thing I want to do uh, is to check to make sure that I'm getting spark from the flywheel and the ignition to the spark plug. So I've got my tester here, and I am going to connect this to the spark plug. And then this end is going to go on the spark plug wire, the ignition wire. And then with the, the magnet of the, of the flywheel on here, what I'm going to do is just twist this back and forth very quickly and watch for spark. And you can't see that on the video, but I can see in my little glass window here the spark jumping. So there's definitely spark coming from this ignition system to that spark plug. So that's all ready to go.